behold and I'm, I'm not even I'm not even joking um, behold 1999 Toyota Camry XLE that's the fancy one but what makes this one fancy and something to behold is the odometer that's right 25,000 miles um, every single one of these cars that you're gonna run into in the wild probably has at least 10 times that mileage um, probably more you know uh, th these are known for absolutely swallowing up miles um, with arguably the, the greatest amount of reliability in the history of the automobile uh, and this one is just getting started with uh, you know a 25,000 I think 600 ish miles and uh, we're gonna take a quick walk around it um, it isn't nice it's this cool I want to say they call this vintage red was the the name of this color um, and it is an XLE so you got all the niceties power this and that alloy wheels the fan freaking tastic gold emblem package and uh, just a good car and let's check it out um, on the outside very nice some things to, to note uh, clear on the top of this mirror starting to go plastic and reds they tend to fade faster that's why it's a little bit different color but you know I'm gonna be picky here with some of the claws a couple of door dings here catch it just the right angle you'll see it front end is in very nice shape there are a couple of some scratches general wear and tear on the bumper um, I don't know where this bumper bracket is the California license plate for it is around I think I saw it in the glove box that might be the biggest blemish on this car really a little scuff here real light I don't think that will polish out it's there some scratches with some touch-up paint there is a real light crease right here That's about the most show-off angle of that in the world. Real world, you don't even notice it. I didn't notice it until I was spending more time with this car. Again, I'm being picky here. Bottom of this fender is a little tweaked. You know, maybe somebody hit something in the road and kind of pushed it up a little bit. It's not crushed, it's not that dramatic, but it kind of makes this guy sit off kilter. scuffage with some touch-up paint um, I did see a couple of scratches and stuff on the hood this one here a little tiny one there really not much to write home as far as rock chips there's a few but you know 25,000 mile car so not a lot of opportunity to collect those rock chips um, that's really the meat and potatoes as far as blemishes on this thing there's a little crease here. Come on, well, it's really just like a biggish door ding. But considering how these were all just used as appliances and ground down into dust, you know, complaining about a few door dings like this guy here, it's really relatively silly. Um looking at it I think maybe this back bumper has been painted before they did a good job the color match is excellent this is a tough color to match probably the fact that it's so low mileage and must have been garage for a long time made it easy to match red fades pretty easily but not this one this one is not faded really at all um, and maybe I think they painted the bottom part of this deck lid to, to, to match because there's I mean it doesn't sound like there's any filler in there but it does look like they painted the d6 logo because that should be this absolutely sweet shade of gold but this up here absolutely looks like original paint so I'm willing to bet in order to achieve that really nice color match um, they might have blended this lower deck lid pop these out painted it somebody picked it up for cover I did look in the trunk we'll look in it later I didn't see any signs of any significant impact or damage it might as well might as well just look like that front bumper and they decided to paint this rear one once upon a time um, as I said 
almost no fade at all on these top surfaces, which for a red color of over 20 years old, almost certainly means it was not spending a lot of time in the sun and in the weather. A little scratch here. Yeah, a couple of scratches here too. Uh, that might even be paint checking, I can't tell. Sounds like metal. So I don't think any, any bad juju's there. I'm being aggressively picky here on a Toyota Camry. Um, tires, mountain of tread, lots and lots of tread. They're dated, this one's dated last, you know, very end of 2012. I don't see any dry rotting in it, but by date, the 10 year old tire is a bit too old. That tire, I mean, it looks excellent. You know, literally your mileage may vary there. Um, that's pretty much it. There's really not a lot to write home about up here. How old's this tire? Because this tread looks also excellent. 2015, so it's a little newer. Same kind of tire. Maybe they just put whatever they had in stock on it. Because trying to get a, you know, a 15 inch tire nowadays is pretty difficult. So yeah, this is 2015. So maybe that's, maybe that's the deal and why they, they look like they're in good shape by the manufacturer date. And this one doesn't match. This is a mismatch. Also looks brand new and 11 of 22. So somebody must have gotten a flat, put this one on it. Um, tires let's check out inside because inside is excellent and there's a storm of ruin so we should probably jump on this jump on it it's really all quite nice um got the upgraded stereo leather is excellent still very soft you know, some minor creasing, but you're not going to find, well, let's just say you'd be very, very hard pressed to find something nicer. Really is a nice place to be as far as blemishes and stuff. Really, the only stuff that I see um, are the trim here. It's got this stick on wood trim that was very popular in the late nineties. And as every single one of these do, the little plastic gel coat that's over the top of this really thin kind of walnut veneer, um, starts falling apart after 20 plus years. So that's, that's no different here. I think this were these were usually, I think dealer installed. I don't think this was something that you either did later or was done from the Toyota factory. But that's of note, it's completely gone on these pieces. And I think you can probably get replacement of this because uh, it was just a dealer or installed add-on. Um, if you wanted to bring it back to its former wood grain glory, you can do that. Um, just find a kit, start it up. Good old Toyota key. Yeah, 25,604 is our mileage. Nice and smooth. Dash is great. Visor. I don't know how that guy comes on or doesn't. Maybe the bulb's out. Hmm. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Got a place for your glasses. Sunroof. I don't know. The owner of the car didn't tell me if this works. So we're just gonna throw 
caution into the wind. Look at that. It's a Toyota. Did we have any doubts? Perfect. Sunroof works. Check. This tool might not working either. I'm either doing something wrong or I don't know. Maybe there's a fuse out for the dome light. I'm not sure. We can play with that. I will do some investigative journalism and that will end up in the comments. HVAC works. It's kind of cold out, so I can't tell you maybe definitively if the AC is or is not working. Yeah, it's working. That feels nice and cold. So we've got AC. And the RPMs jump with the AC getting kicked on it. Needle wiggles a little. So AC's working. Heater's working. Stereo. It's a fancy updated stereo. Nothing in the CD player for me to check there. Um, but yeah, we do have a stereo. I don't have a tape to test that. Um, and neither do you, probably. There we go. Let's go around to the other side, see what there is to see. Oh, mirrors. Let's try our mirrors. Yep. Yep, that guy's working. Windows. Auto down on the driver. No auto up. Regular up. That works fine. Passenger. Check. Passenger rear. Check. Driver's rear. Check. Power locks. Cool. Let's hop around to the other side. Pop the hood. Pop the trunk. Fuel release. Make sure all that stuff works. On our way around. Fantastically clean. Engine bay. I did ask the owner of the car if he knew about timing belt history. He does not. I don't see a sticker. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think these V6s are a non interference motor. Um, it certainly would not be out by miles, but it would be by age if it is the original belt. But if it is non interference motor, you're not buying a new engine should that belt fail. Um, would the prudent thing to be do, to, to do it? Yeah, probably. Um, if it is non-interference, will it be the end of the world if, if you push your luck and drive it for quite some time and it breaks? You'll probably be relatively okay other than a tow. But absolutely sewing machine-esque. All the different logos. Then no signs of anything being replaced up here, even down to the original radiator or the Toyota radiator anyways. One thing I did want to note real quick, when I was driving it here, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, maybe in the driving video. Um, but there's some really light scuffing in the windshield. I don't know if that will polish out. It looks like maybe somebody had some really terribly bad wiper blades and just ran the wipers for a while. Maybe we can see it from in here. Yeah, you can see a little bit better. I'm being picky here again, but something I noticed. So. Somebody might need to polish the windshield out a little bit. Another thing I noticed 
which the owner said this will be taken care of prior to the sale, so I will note that in the comments of the auction, but um, the little rod, the connecting rod, has popped off this exterior door handle. So, what do we gotta do? We gotta do that. Oh, come on. And we gotta do it twice, because I don't know how to open a door. It's kind of popping out a little bit. If you got a trim tool, you can push that back. Oh, look, did I just fix it? Look at that. Look how good I am. I just fixed that. Welcome. Again, dashboard is great. Carpets. Pretty good. Seats. Fan freaking tastic. Power adjustments work. Front, back, up, down, left, right. Same story back here. A little scratch here on the this lower trim panel. Let's see, it's look excellent. Some marks there. Your package tray looks great. Headliner, great. There's the floor mats. Car was recently detailed, so I cleaned up the floor mats, put them back here. They're not completely unstained. There's some marks on them, but they're there. And this does have the accessory floor mat for the trunk as well. So I got three layers of carpets right back here right now. And there's that one. To keep opening this onion up. See what's under here. There's the spare. Rear frame rails look great. I don't see anything wrong with the rear body panel or the floor there. It looks good. Oh yeah, somebody did paint that back bumper. You can see. There's a little bit of overspray right there on that VIN label. And then here on these little snaps here, but it's all pretty minor stuff. Oh, I pushed that. I see it trying to go. All right, well, I'll get an answer on that. Usually on the door itself, there's a little metal prong here. And sometimes if it gets bent out of position, you gotta help it when you pop it. You gotta get something under there, so, and then you just bend it back. So hopefully it's just that. If that's your biggest issue on a 20 something year old car, you're doing good. Um, I did notice on the back here, there's this little puncture here. It's like a dime size, little triangle puncture. Otherwise, good stuff. Okay. Well, we spent a lot of time looking over a Camry. So we should go drive this thing. See, uh, see what it does. Come with, won't you? Okie dokie. Let's drive a Camry. Probably slightly harder than most people drive a Camry. Shall we?
Okay, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit because this is 20 something year old six owner Camry and the brakes are not really made for me to completely hustle it. And this is downhill, it's down a grade. So um, I don't wanna roast the brakes, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the 99 Camry in a nutshell. Uh, pretty lovely car, 25,600 miles and counting. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a winner. It's a good car. Um, if you need what is probably a, a, a nice, very low mile example of, again, probably the uh, greatest car ever made, um, this generation Camry, then um, this is a good example. So um, I'll be really interested to see um, what ends up with this with regards to what it brings at auction. Look for it over at Cars and Bids, um, where it will be for sale, if you want to follow along with that. If you're seeing this when this video is going live, you're also going to be seeing it uh, the day the auction goes live. So check out the link in the description below. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, punch your key keyboard or whatever until good things happen. And um, thanks for tagging along. All right, bit often, bit early. Later.